Before it was a Marvel movie shattering box office records right and left, Black Panthers were heroes of a different kind, working for the rights and freedom of black people in America and beyond. It was a movement and it scared the hell out of the FBI. The Black Panther Party formed more than 50 years ago to fight for things like justice, access to decent housing, better education, and an end to police brutality. Things we're still fighting for today. The Black Panthers were started in Oakland, California in 1966 by Bobby Seale and Huey Newton. What started on a college campus became a full-on political organization following the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. But their philosophy was less Dr. King and more Malcolm X. They didn't believe in violence, but they did believe in self-defense. Believing in survival until revolution, the Panthers created tons of programs to help their communities, like the Free Breakfast for Children program, which started after studies revealed that children who didn't eat in the morning were less attentive in school. They cooked and served 20,000 meals a week to kids across the country. They set up free health clinics, helped find housing for the homeless, and they protected black people from police brutality by policing the police. Panthers created citizen patrols in black communities showing up to police arrests of black residents to monitor officers' behavior and to make sure they didn't use excessive force. In California, where there is an open carry law, they carried loaded guns. The Black Panthers educated people about their legal rights and created unity across the country. But the movement's success and organization scared the government, and they ordered the FBI to take the party down. In now declassified FBI documents, FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover directed the agency to expose, disrupt, misdirect, discredit, or otherwise neutralize the Panthers. Neutralize was code for kill, which is what they did to Fred Hampton. The brilliant activist was killed during a police raid in the dead of night in his home in 1969. Documents of the FBI's massive operation revealed that the Panthers were stalked and wiretapped. Supporters of the movement were intimidated and smeared. The FBI was ordered to destroy their community programs like the Free Breakfast for Children program. They even sent FBI informants undercover inside the party to create chaos and divide them. And it worked out. Internal drama led to the party breaking up into different factions and led to violence in and outside of the groups. Women made up the majority of the party in the 70s, led by Elaine Brown and included members like Tupac's mom, Afeni Shakur. But by the end of the decade, the party was dead and many of its leaders fled the country in order to avoid arrest. Some are still in prison even today. People of color are still asking the same questions the Panthers did so many years ago, but now they're armed with the power of social media, giving them unprecedented reach and access. Could Black Lives Matter be the movement to succeed in getting answers? For Uproxx, I'm Steve Vasquez.